this video, I'll show you a couple of examples of using the beta distribution function in Excel. The beta distribution is for continuous random variables, and it's commonly used to study variation in percentages across samples. For example, you might want to look at the fraction of the day people spend watching television. The format is beta.dist. If you're using an earlier version of Excel prior to 2010, you'll want to omit that period. That legacy function is just beta dist. There are a few input values you'll need to calculate beta.dist. X is required. That's the value between A and B where you want to evaluate the function. This must be between 0 and 1. Alpha and beta are the parameters of the distribution. Those must be positive numbers. Cumulative is a logical value that determines the form of the function. If you put true there, the distribution will return the CDF. If false, it will give you the PDF. A and B are optional bounds for X. If you leave those out, it's going to assume an interval between 0 and 1. Let's take a look at an example. The defect rate of TVs on a large-scale production line is described by a beta distribution with shape parameters alpha equals 3 and beta equals 6. We want to know the probability that up to 25% of the TVs in any month are defective. We're told we're looking for a probability up to 25%, so we know we're going to be using the CDF. There are a couple of ways to use a function in Excel. The first way is you can just type in the function indirectly. Here's the format for the function. The x value we want to evaluate is 25%. That's 0.25 as a decimal. This is a probability, so you want to make sure that's between 0 and 1. We're given our two parameters in the question, so we can plug those in. 3, 6. We want the CDF, so put in true. And I'm going to type in a comma 0 and comma 1 for the interval. If you leave those out, Excel will assume the interval is from 0 to 1. I press Enter, and there is a 32.15% chance that up to 25% of TVs in any month are defective. If you already have values in cells, you can call those in the formula. Let's say you already had 0.25, your two parameters, 3 and 6, entered into cells. You would type equals beta.dist, and instead of typing in the number, click on the cell, comma, click on the next cell, comma, and then finally click on that cell for beta. We need to type in a comma and true. This time I'm going to leave out the 0 and 1, and if I press enter I get the same answer. Your third option, which is sometimes easier, is to use the function window. Click the insert function tab and search for the function you need. We're looking for the beta.dist, so if you type in beta and press go, it will give you some options. Let's click on beta distribution. It brings up the function arguments window. So our x was 0.25, and you can see here it's telling us it's a value between a and b at which to evaluate the function. Alpha is 3, and its a parameter to the distribution must be greater than 0. The same for beta. Beta, it's telling us, must be greater than 0. There's the information for cumulative. We want the cumulative, so we're putting in true there, but it's also telling us for the PDF you could use false. And our lower bound to the interval is omitted, so it's assuming a equals 0. Down here is the result from the formula, which is that 32.15% we calculated just a moment ago. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.